hello everyone welcome to the video where we are going to see that what do you need to do if your computer windows computer keeps freezing randomly so this is a very kind of an irritating problem wherein you are working and uh, randomly your computer just freezes and for an air amount of time you are not able to do anything on your system just stare at the blank screen and uh, it doesn't respond to any of the inputs that you are giving so in this video we are going to fix that exact issue so how are we going to fix it let us just uh, see the process the process is pretty simple you need to go to this pc here you will find the different drives so you need to select the drive in which your operating system is installed in my case it is in the c drive so i selected c drive right click and go to properties now in the properties dialog box you need to go to tools the first tool that says error checking and uh, the description is that this option will check the drive for file system errors so let's just click on this check button and here you will find this kind of a dialog box that says you don't need to scan this drive we haven't found any errors but what you need to do is if your pc is fixing it's freezing randomly then you just need to click on scan drive this will take 5 to 10 minutes to scan whole of your drive and if you found any errors uh, if it finds any errors it will just fix those errors on itself so basically it's just a step that tells the system that okay you need to scan the drive because i'm facing some issues and you need to fix those issues you don't need to do anything manually here just click on scan drive and that would do the work for you now once everything is done you need to restart your system just to make sure that all the effects are taking place correct so i'm not going to do this step right now because it's going to take a, a lot of time and uh, then we won't be able to cover all the steps so Firstly, uh, you need to do this step, then restart your system once you have done that. Then what you need to do is just uh, go to the search bar and type in CMD, command prompt. Make sure you click on run as administrator. This is a very important step. If it asks you for permission, just click on yes. And here, make sure the path is C slash windows slash system32. This is the correct path. Here you need to run this command, sfc space forward slash scan now. This will again scan the drive for errors and if there are any errors, it will fix them. So it will also take 10 to 15 minutes to scan the whole drive and then fix those errors if there are any errors. So just run this command that is sfc space forward slash scan now. There is no space in scan now. So run this command and if there are any errors, they will be fixed. Then again restart your system and uh, your problem should have been gone. The third and the final step, which is more of a precautionary step that you need to do is just uh, right click on the start button, go to settings, update and security. Make sure in the windows update, uh, you are getting this message, you are up to date. Uh, so for in my case, I'm getting last check today at 11.30 am. That means uh, it just checked at around one hour before. If you want, you can just click on check for updates and what will it do? It will just check for the updates uh, like right now it is checking for the updates and if there are any of the updates that are actually available for my system right now, it will show me the list of those updates and I can manually update them. Uh, once I choose to manually update them, then I can restart my PC and then the issues would have been solved. So the major things are that there might be some errors in the drive or there might be some updates that the windows has rolled but we have not installed into our system that's why it is freezing again and again and randomly for us so this kind of a check manual check make sure that all those issues are sorted now here i'm getting a warning onto my pc that this pc doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirement to run windows 11 so if you want to upgrade your windows 10 to windows 11 then if your system is capable of doing that then you would be okay with it otherwise you will get this kind of a warning but this we can ignore because this is not something that is required okay so it is going to take some time but once uh, it has checked for updates if you are getting any of the updates just make sure to install them and your system would be good and running once you have installed the updates just restart your system again and the freezing problem would have been fixed so that's it for this video. That's how you fix the freezing problem on your PC. And uh, thanks for watching.